Your Excellencies, ladies and gentlemen, at the outset, I would like to express my pleasure to participate with you today in the closing ceremony of the EU support to Egypt's National Population Strategy, a project financed by the European Union with a grant amount to 27 million euros and implemented by the United Nations Population Fund, UNFPA, where the government beneficiaries are the Ministry of Health and Population, Ministry of Youth and Sports, Ministry of Social Solidarity, Ministry of Education and Technical Education, Ministry of Planning and Economic Development, as well as the National Population Council. We are all here to celebrate. A variety of significant outcomes have been achieved, mainly through strengthening the availability of quality family planning services, as well as increasing the demand for voluntary family planning through various project activities, including capacity building with the Ministry of Health and Population to enable the staff from outreaching service providers, workers in clinics, as well as women health clubs, and reaching those furthest behind through the implementation of family planning services campaigns via mobile clinics. Likewise, the importance of this project is highlighted from its linkages with the recently launched National Program for Development of the Egyptian Family by His Excellency President Abdel Fattah Sisi last February. The aforementioned initiative is the cornerstone in addressing the overpopulation challenge in a more comprehensive perspective by including social, economic, health, and family dimensions to target the implementation of many of the project's activities. As such, the project outcomes focused on three main aspects. First, offering family planning services through scaling up contraceptive commodities and making it more accessible. Second, educating youth population on family planning and raising the public awareness on the value of smaller family size. And third, building the institutional capacities for monitoring and implementation of the national population strategy. Ladies and gentlemen, in this context, it is imperative to commend the European Union and UNFPA on their efforts exerted implementing this phase of the project as is directly aligns and complements the government of Egypt's overarching efforts in organizing the population growth and in meeting its objectives. Similarly, and in light of the accomplished national efforts in this critical field, the Ministry of International Cooperation is keen on achieving sustainable development priorities in all fields, including social protection for women, children and families, especially in poor villages, mainly through investing in human capital by strengthening development partnerships, improving the lives of citizens, enhancing collaboration between public and private sector, and in unleashing the potential to achieve the well-being of the citizens and in raising the quality of life. Enhancing human capital has been at the forefront of MOIC's objectives when creating and expanding partnerships and strategies with diverse development partners. Accordingly, under the umbrella of the United Nations Sustainable Development Framework, between 2023 and 2027, this project aims at addressing two outcomes, namely outcome one and three. The first outcome tackles strengthening human capital through providing equal access to quality services, ensuring social protection and social justice to all people, whereas outcome three focuses on empowering women and girls through realizing their rights in social, health, and livelihood spheres. Through this project, young females were able to understand better their reproductive health, and they had access to contraceptive commodities. In the period between April 2018 and March 2020, mobile clinics reached a total of 200,000 women with reproductive health and family planning services, as well as counseling to those who need family methods. To that end, the EU Support to Egypt National Population Strategy Project succeeded in specifically addressing the outcomes one and three of the framework by offering immense and demand-driven services to the most vulnerable and raising youth awareness towards family planning to enhance human capital in social and economic terms. Last but not least, I am confident that all won't have been successful without having a strong partnership between the Arab Republic of Egypt and the European Union with a total economic cooperation that is over a billion euros in the form of grants that support sectors including transport, water, agriculture, small and medium enterprises, renewable social protection governance, as well as civil society and capacity building. Thank you very much.